Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're on day four with Wilson. It is now just a brand new day. Pick up the stale gar garland again. I can still use it. It may be stale, but I can use it. We got Chester, our friend in the wilderness. Get out of here, bird. Our friend in the wilderness. What's our map tell us? Our map tells us abs absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. What we need to do is, uh, ooh, well, there's some, there's some little thingies up here. Some spiders. We'll kick their asses. Come here, spiders. Go for the eyes. All right, that's it. All right. Now we go back. We go back into the kill. Oh, he got us. That's fine. We got some silk now. We got that for healing. And we'll take out this spider nest. That's right. And we'll mess this with Wilson. Sir Wilson, knighted by the queen. Probably. Would have been. Now, I have a sleep dart. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose, like, what I can use. Oh, well. I can use a sleep dart for that guy if he stops running around like a goofball. Come here. Ha! Gotcha, you. you're asleep now. Now you're dead. Boom. Morsel, drumstick. Uh, where, where do I put the Chester. Yeah, go ahead and take that. Oh, look, look at that. What we got in Chester? Butterfly wings? Speaking of butterfly wings, come here. Oh. They just butterfly it off. So, we need to find a decent place for a base camp. That's that's fairly important. We need more flint. We always need more flint. I'm going to go ahead and put the flint up here. We could always use more flint. And we need to set up, uh, we need to find a place where um, we can dig up some stone because we need gold. We need gold nuggets. Um, gold nuggets are integral. Can't set up a, a permanent base camp without gold nuggets or without at least knowing where some, some readily available gold nuggets are. You know, because gold nuggets are important. You need them for the alchemy machine. You need them for science machine. Opulent weapons or tools like the opulent axe a lot of people are like, you know Why would you get a gold axe instead of just a regular axe? Well, this game goes for the standard that gold is more powerful than like stone and so on and so forth Which I'm not sure If that's entirely true But whatever magic the alchemy machine uses <clears throat> imbues the gold with certain magical properties Making it better than uh, like a normal thing. So, alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the trap. We're gonna set the trap. We're gonna bait the trap with the carrot. Come on. I'm gonna sit over here. Chester, come on. Come on, man. That rabbit do his thing. We'll sit over here and gather some twigs, berries, stuff like that. See the rabbit up there? Oh, he went for the trap. Ha, ah, you fell for it. You're tricked. We get dead rabbit. We'll go ahead and murder him, and then we get more morsels. Now, butterflies. Butterflies are a lot harder to kill now than they used to be. Come here. As you can see. I'm painting my ass. How many flowers do I have? I need one more. I need one more flower. Alright, I got it. So now I can take off this garland. I need it. Uh, I need another flower. Oh. Then I can make a, another garland. A brand new garland. We can head in here. Some beehives in here. Um, no. Let's look at the map again. We got nothing going for us. We got some ponds. There's a pond. We can fish out of those. They also call frogs, and frogs are dangerous. 
Because if you attack one, then like 50 of them come after you, and they all try to kill you at the same time. A whole bunch of ponds here, which means we can do a whole bunch of fishing. Problem is, fishing fishing requires silk, and silk is kind of a precious resource because it's... I mean, it's not super hard to obtain when you're, you know, fully prepared to go to war with spiders. But the later the game goes on, the harder the spiders are to control because their nests multiply and get bigger. And then they get, you know, more spiders. That's just what I've noticed. Um, so. And then, of course, there are giant spiders out in the world, which I don't even know what those are. Spider, spider bastards that are the size of, well, what we got here? We got a metal potato thing. Okay. Not sure what's up with that. But we have some farms going on right here, which is, that's, that's kind of cool. Um, you know, and we got some sticks, we got some tufts of grass. We got some, we got a road, bushes. This, this doesn't look like a bad place to set up some sort of base camp. If I had some stone, I'd consider, well I do, but I don't have enough stone for, like a fire pit. Um, and also fishing is nearby. The only thing I really need to find somewhere is a some stone. I need stone. I've heard that stone is a non-renewable resource, which personally I think they should do something about that in a patch. I think that you should be able, if you're on like a stone ground, you know like the stony biome, you should be able to make a mine that you can just sit there and dig at like every day. You know, maybe it recharges a little bit, kind of like a farm. You know, you put something together, pop it in there, and then, you know, you can dig for some... You can dig for some stone. Because when you think about it, stone's not one of those things that really should be limited, should it? I mean, at least not to me. I don't think that stone should be limited, particularly. What we got here? Ashes? I don't really need ashes, I don't think. We'll go ahead and cook this drumstick. And then eat it. That sounds like a good plan. We'll eat some morsels. Yeah. There we go. We're getting we're getting good on the morsels. Roasted berries too. Go ahead and equip this torch real quick and go back up here. Uh, yeah, I remember there being a shovel, so I'll grab that real quick. Shovel is useful. <clears throat> we'll unequip this. We don't need it. Now, how much stone do we need for a... We need 12 stones for a campfire, meaning we need 5 more. Uh, where are you at, Chester? You're right up here. Uh, he has no wood in him, so... That's how that goes. Uh, I know that I can use butterflies. I can eat butterflies. Come here. Oh, 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 is this is this just a little road? Oh. I was hoping that led to a stone biome. I was gonna be pretty excited. We need to remember this place. Right there, that place. Well, that, you know, that's that's fairly well marked on the map. We need to remember it because it seems like a fairly important place. Oh, that looks like it could be a stone biome. We'll cut down a few more trees. Gotta gather that lumber. Gotta get that lumber. And uh, we need some more pine cones because we gotta build a forest. Um, Alright, well, we're out of... Uh, I have any place for this, he says. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a stupid McStupid pants. Let's go ahead and drop a carrot right here. Let's see what he does. Alright. Pick up all 32 of those carrots. Alright, well, this stone biome seems pretty good. And close to the place I was planning on making my base camp, so... You know what? I think we found a good area. 
Go ahead, Chester. Take the gold. Actually, Chester, once you go ahead and take the seeds, I'll take the gold and I'm probably going to be picking up more of it as I dig. Yeah, we got plenty of gold up here. So, there's some more gold. We need about six pieces of gold so that we can immediately jump in to the, the alchemy set. It's not super important uh, that we jump into the alchemy set immediately, but there are certain there are certain items that you have to have. I think you guys might have just heard a train in real life. I do live uh, fairly close to a railroad. Well, actually, not just just the tracks. I don't live like next to the station or anything, but. So occasionally I'll hear I'll uh, I'll hear a um, I'll hear the train. I can actually predict what time it is uh, by the train. Uh, here you go. Go ahead and take those there, my friend Chester. All right, so we got we got these going on. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, uh, and then I'm gonna equip this, and we're gonna get some berry bushes. We're gonna bring them back with us. Because while berry bushes aren't super important, come here, you little bastard. Ha! Um, what, what can we drop to keep this? We can drop a log. We can drop some berries. We'll go ahead and eat the berries uncooked. That's fine. There's nothing too wrong with that. Now, before I head back and start up on my base camp, I'm going to look around here a little bit more. We've got enough stones for a while. We've got 28 stones. That's a good amount of stones. You're going to need a few more. Because I believe that to make an alchemy machine, we need cut stone. And I believe cut stone takes two or three stones. So we need six stones on top of our 12 stones. Oh, what on earth was that down there? Oh! It was Birdo. No, 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 no. I ain't fighting you. Oh, look. He's gonna chase me now. Stop chasing me. It's unnecessary. You asshat. I have nothing to do with you. <clears throat> I hate long legs. So we've got this conveniently placed road as well, which is, you know, pretty nice. Means we can get back to our uh, base camp quicker. Also, I took the wrong road. Should have taken this one. And then I like that this uh, this grassy area is nearby because it's got bees in it. And uh, more importantly, it has flowers and such, which are fairly important. Again, I'm not sure about the ponds and all that, but I am fairly sure about this location. So we're going to go ahead and build a fire. Pit. Now... This isn't like the super easiest place to wall in. You know, maybe down here would have been a little easier to wall in. But, you know, I'm not that worried about it. To be perfectly honest, I'm not that worried. I think we'll do alright. Um, I'm going to set berry bushes on up here. Yeah, there's a berry bush right over here. So I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and plant another one. And another one. So we got the berry bushes. Now we're gonna have to keep some food and let it rot so that we can use it uh, as fertilizer. Because I do not have any fertilizer. Now you don't need fertilizer for planting trees. We got time to plant some trees, that's good. can't do that. Yes, you can. Don't be such a baby, Wilson. Hey, 
if you like that content, why don't you do me a super huge favor and click that like button. And if you like all of my content and want to see more, why don't you hit that subscribe button so you can be updated anytime I do anything new. And well, if you want to be my best friend, you can go ahead and try to share this on Facebook or Twitter or Reddit, anywhere really. Get that stuff out there and help this channel grow. It'd really mean a lot to me.